guys and welcome back to the channel this is your girl sin with decor and more your lifestyle channel you guys if you haven't seen part one and part two of the backyard refresh well you want to go ahead and see both of those so make sure you toggle back to part one and part two of backyard refresh this is part three you guys so you know what to do get your coffee get your tea get your snacks honey and come on back because we're about to get right into this video and we're gonna finalize this gazebo We've, you've seen us put down the floors you've seen us put the furniture in here and now it is finally time to furnish this baby off and kick back relax and enjoy this outdoor oasis so I'll see you guys in the video So you guys, I came out um, today in the yard to make sure um, that uh, it was early and it was cool. I have these um, sprinklers, these misters that I am putting up around the gazebo to give it that mist feeling, um, you know, sprinkle in the summertime. I don't know how many of you guys have been out at different bars, Mexican cantinas and um, restaurants during the summertime with the patios. A lot of them have misters. And so that's what I plan on doing with this 14 by 20 gazebo. I'm going to add the misters going all the way around. I added a 60 foot um uh string that i ordered from the amazon store and we're going to go ahead and put these things on now as you can see now they are pouring Just out like that so i need should. to make sure that i uh treat the nozzles and make sure that they are clear and make sure that i turn them so that they can um sprinkle out instead of pouring out so you should push it Cause it's really not. It's a tubing thing. If this happens, is what I read in the book. But that's not working. I'm probably gonna have to get some pliers. Cause there's a little bit too much. So you guys, we decided to um, deep clean all of the concrete areas to make sure the concrete um, had no moss and no um, debris on it. And the Hubster went ahead and ordered this uh, brush that goes on the power um, washer at the end of the power washer to scrub and uh, power wash the concrete. And I must say that it takes a lot of elbow work out of the uh, pressure washer for him. And he absolutely loved it. And I think it did such a good job in cleaning all of the concrete area. So I purchased these light um, items from the Timu and I know a lot of you guys know about Timu. Some of you guys stated that you don't like Timu and that's understandable but these light was so perfect that I was able to get them at a reasonable price. It was about 20 of them in the pack 
for about um, $9.99. Also, you guys, I had these um, old tables that I decided, instead of buying new tables, I just decided to refurbish these. I took a, a can of spray paint and just painted over them and gave them a like new finish. So you guys, the next thing on my list was to go ahead and plant some of my flowers and trees in my pottery. And so what I'm doing is taking all of the top parts of each flower pot, all, all of the old dirt and debris. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch these, take these plants, these new plants that I got from the Home Depot store and put them in each pot. And here it is, you guys. I want to show you all of the area up top where we cleaned the concrete and the fire pit and here it is we're going to go ahead and put some of these covers outdoor covers on there where i got from the home depot store these are by hampton bay you guys and they are really really thick and i hope that they will last me because they seem to be sturdy here's the end results you guys of the tables let me um show you guys how the tables look after i uh, use the can uh, spray paint and i need to spray paint the bottom of these just to make sure that the uh, bottom of them are looking like new as well this saved me you guys at least a, a couple of hundred bucks because these tables are so expensive they are at least $39.99 depending on the height of them they start at $39.99 and go up to at least $60 so this really really saved me I want to kiss you with my eyes closed I want to dance under the stars if you say jump I say let's fly so high to wake me up till we arrive I wanna kiss you with my eyes closed I wanna dance under the stars If you say jump, I say let's fly So high, don't wake me up till we arrive I wanna kiss you with my eyes Okay, you guys, so I went to the local Home Depot store to get a couple of ferns. Ferns always make the yard look nice and they're easy and accessible. I also went to the Big Lot store to purchase some lights for the gazebo, but I ran across these uh, beautiful um, pots for the flowers. And I think I'm going to use those. I like both of them. Um, I'm going to decide on whether or not I want the third one, but I also want to look at something else like these rattan um, floral pots um, just to see if I can throw a little curveball to make it look a little different. Um, also these flower tape these tables that holds your floral arrangements those are really cute too but the price was a little bit too pricey so I just couldn't um, find myself paying that much money for 
those items so remember um, shop your home and also try to find the best price you possibly can in all of these stores you have to compare prices but what I did find the find of the day was was this um, fan by Broyhill. you guys I saw this last year in the big lot store and I wanted to get it last year and I didn't but you know what I'm gonna go ahead and get it this year to add in the top of that gazebo I also found this Arctic uh, blast um, kind of a, a mini AC unit that is uh, powered by water and you guys it works very well uh, so well that my sister wants to take it home with her okay so i'm just letting you know if you buy one make sure you buy two because you're probably going to end up giving it to a siblings or somebody else because they really really works and um we went ahead me and the hubster and decided to go ahead and put the ceiling fan up i also decided to take those rattan lights out um from under the ceiling i'm gonna okay. switch it out for an older chandelier that i bought about two years ago and so we're gonna fill our day with putting up the ceiling fan and running the cords so that it will look very neat up under the gazebo but also we're going to switch out these lights these rattan lights because they're just not bright enough and they're not hanging the way that i really want them to hang and so uh yeah you guys just stick with me and we're going to go ahead and you're going to see us put that together and then we're going to go ahead and arrange the furniture and finalize everything and in the end of this video you will see that i'm giving my mom a 77th birthday party and um we had all of the fam to come up and support her my auntie came my uh, uncle came and all of the cousins and some more people family and friends but I'm gonna show you some clips of that as well and I also want to share with you these lights that I got from Timu remember the lights I'm gonna put those on our um, wall but I'm also gonna put a couple of them around the gazebo just to give it a little flare at night just to have your eyes to kind of uh, wander up and kind of look at the gazebo at night time I don't want to overdo it but I think just one or two lights here and there will make a world of difference along with the lights on the wall and the lights that I have on the staircase
So you guys, I decided to uh, put some batteries into the rattan lamps. And what I'm going to do, instead of hanging them from the ceiling, I'm going to just um, place them alongside of the chairs and the sofas on uh, the deck tiles. Just to make it, uh, give it a little bit of ambiance at night to have a little glare of light. Um, sitting under there, you know, especially for those nights that you just want to have a glass of wine or cocktail and just, you know, maybe stare at the stars. But this will bring some ambiance to the gazebo instead of having bright lights. These will work well on the floor instead of hanging from the ceiling. And so I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but I think this is a better idea. Also, I am um, showing you the new bar top, uh, four seater bar top set. And I'm um, basically unwrapping the chairs. I didn't have time before to really uh, unwrap everything once we put it together. But now it is time to unwrap, to put it together, to make sure that it's functioning. So that when we get um, this birthday party going, you guys, there will be less for me to do. So I hope you guys are liking um, the four piece bar top. This is a matching piece to the six piece bar table and uh well the fire pit table and uh both of these items came from costco and if you want the item number i'm gonna flash on here a picture of all of that and if you want to you can just pause the video so that you can snapshot a picture of the bar set and the item number from costco and if, if i'm not mistaken i believe that they still have this item available if not online they have it in the stores So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and attach this cord. Um, it's actually a sprinkler system. I need to attach the ends to the water hose, but I also need to put the filter piece in and the washer. That way, um, it will filter the water as it comes through, but it also will allow the water to not get trapped inside of the tubes. And so we're going to go ahead and um, put that together so that we can see if all of the nozzles are going to work properly Ooh, getting it ready getting it ready for the birthday party getting it ready i'm going to go ahead and go around the entire gazebo this is a 60 foot uh, length cord and I'm going to start by attaching it with these command strips I found the outdoor command strips that way it's weatherproof and I'm going to go ahead and attach it, and then I'm going to feed the line one by one um, I have probably about six to eight command strips on each side and then on the ends I have about four and so I'm just going to go ahead and feed all of those around this 14 by 20 gazebo and then we're going to see at the end if this actually works.
So I also decided since I was playing with the water to go ahead and water the new sod or the new grass that we laid down a few weeks ago. I also decided to water all of the plants because I wanted to make sure that they was alive and looking healthy so that when this party happens that everything looks fresh and lush and it doesn't look like it's dried out. What I love about this deck tile, you guys, is that it is so easy to clean. All you need to do is take your water hose and just spray. Just spray off all the dust and dirt and any of um, any other things that may get on their leaves or whatever other debris that you may have. I love, I am loving these deck tiles and I feel like they are an awesome buy and this is a good purchase for any outdoor space. Yeah, they missed them real good. Look at there, look at there, look at there. Then you gotta turn them. You turn the little gold thing. Either open it up so or turn. Oh, this one right here, real bad. You didn't see this one right here? Well, when it rains, it pours. This one, this particular nozzle, is not working. It's missing a piece, and so the water is pouring um, out. It should be misting as all the others. So since they put a an extra nozzle in there, I'm going to go ahead and have um, the huster, huster to switch it out, and then we're going to give this a second try and make sure that all of them are misting and not pouring. Cause this gonna wet people. It, I mean, it's shooting good, but is it gonna wet? It's gonna wet people up, right? So here you have it guys. I have placed all the furniture, all the flowers, everything where I think I want it to be. I may change a few things. Not sure, but this is, um, I believe, to be the final look for now. Um, you may see some other little small changes, but for now, this is what we're looking at. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys will do your own special project in your backyard. Let me know in the comments and the messages what you guys have um, decided to do this year in your own outdoor backyard space i would love to hear from you guys as always continue to like share and subscribe if you are new to this channel go ahead subscribe and become a part of the family and i will see you all in the next video it's still the grill area where i have all my grills and my kitchen lined up it's pretty much what that is grills 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 and then here you guys this is the six piece bar top um bar counter that i keep covered because everything this year will stay covered and this is the bar counter top it is so nice you guys and this is what it looks like in the inside um i have plenty of room to store different things um my serving trays my glasses all types of things i absolutely love it can't wait till we really make some drinks and get things going and this is the gazebo you guys as you can see this is the 14 by 20 gazebo you guys i love everything about it this is how i styled it um i'm gonna move this ladder out the way i'm still doing a little work but let me move that out the way so that i can show you guys pretty much everything that's in here 
Um, I had the uh, sprinklers on last night, so some of the seating got wet. So hopefully it'll dry soon. But <clears throat> you guys, this plant here, um, of course I got all the plants from Home Depot, but this stand, I got this stand from the Big Lot store. It's by Broy Hill. Pretty much everything out here is by Broy Hill, you guys. Here's another stand. This one is a little taller. As you can see, there's the, the ticket. That one's 49. The other one over there was 39. Um, these are little rattan baskets uh, with the lights in them. Uh, these baskets I got like over a year ago. These are by Broad Hill too. There's rat rattan um, lanterns. They come on at night. I got those for some ambiance. These babies are by Broad Hill as well. But I got these from the Home Depot store. Um, this lantern here is from Kirkland's. I got that years ago as well. It's usually on my front porch. Now this set, you guys, um, this set is by Broad Hill as well. I love this set. It's actually two of them. I got a sofa and two chairs. Sofa and two chairs. Those are the two chairs. And then there's the other two chairs over there. Um, of course, I got the gazebo from... Um, I ordered it off of Wayfair. 14 by 20 gazebo. Uh, these lights. This light. Uh, I love this light. It's... Um, I got this one from Big Lots probably about two years ago, and it's been in my garage, so I finally decided to pull it out. This fan is by Broad Hill. I got that from Big Lots as well. And then this lamp right here, this is what I had in my last gazebo, you guys. Um, I don't know if you remember it, but the last gazebo I had, up uh, this was the um light that i had in there so i just brought that back out and i decided to hang that over the table now this table this is a fire pit table you saw that in the other videos that we put together this is the six piece six seating fire pit table um i do have my um ice machine out here that i got from the home depot store that's to keep everything nice and cool, you guys. We have some soda and a few ice still left in there. Um, what else? You guys, you see my plants. Um, I got this palm tree here. I keep moving it because I'm just, I'm not sure where to put it. But those vases down there, I got those, um, years ago from, I believe the, oh, the at-home store. Got those from the at-home store, so I just decided to put that palm tree down in there, and voila, and it went with everything. Um, I got an extra little seating out here. Remember the tables, you guys? These tables are old. I got those. Um, all I did was take a little spray paint and spray paint over those. Um, this table, I should have put some lacquer on it, but I didn't. I just actually took the paint out and just spray paint. I may do something else with the later but for now that is that um these are all my plants all my flowers these are the ones that i um remember in the video that i uh planted last year and this is how they've actually grown and filled in i really love that how they are coming off the wall that is exactly what i wanted and uh oh and the lights you guys these as you can see i have these charging now but these are my wall lights those are my wall lights i got those from timu um what else what else what else i think that's it you guys um i got the sprinklers up um i did get a chance to get the um as you can see there i did put the um the mist sprinklers up I turned them on last night, and when I tell you it was wet everywhere. So I think what I'm going to have to do is turn them outward and just make sure that they are, um, they are, maybe it's going to blow back into the gazebo. But having them turn inward, I mean, it, everything was wet. As you can see, all of the curtains was wet, all of the furniture. All the furniture got wet last night. Even this one, this curtain, if you see that, is still wet. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the ones that I originally put in the corners. I'm going to have to take those out and redirect those behind the curtains and make sure all of them are turned outward so that um, they won't wet up my guest. And so I'll be doing that later today. This is what it looks like. So I have to turn those out. I did put the uh, command strips up to hold them because I could not drill in the gazebo itself because it's iron, it's made of steel. So that was another thing. Um, but you guys, this is pretty much it. Over here, I got more lanterns. Um, two more of the lanterns. Two more of the lanterns. So this is a lot of seating over there. You see, there's another little seating set over there. You guys, I think it turned out wonderfully. I love it. I just want to give you guys a quick little idea of what it looks like this is the backyard this is the sanctuary you guys that's up top up there up top with the fireplace and the TV and some more additional seating and then over there that is the fire pit with uh, uh, additional seating I can see probably about 15 people up there around and at the table up there so this backyard can hold a lot uh, there's three different seating areas um, here this is the grill area uh, grills grills and grills that's the kitchen area what I call it um, hubby has to move those ladders by tomorrow but other than that um, that's my little garden flower bed over there that definitely needs work but we're going to um oops we're going to um update that soon i just don't have time this weekend but you guys i just want to give you a brief look at how everything is i'm going to give you an update on saturday once we uh have my mom's birthday party but this is it you guys this is the sanctuary this is everything. I think I'm going to put a TV right here. I'm going to take that light out and use that as the electricity. And I think I'm going to put a maybe like a little 40 inch or something right there TV. Just so that, you know, anyone down here that may want to watch the game or something like that, that they will have access to a TV as well. Um, and then, of course, you know, or they can go up top. And watch the TV up there but you guys this is it this is it I hope you like it oh yeah they missed them real good look at there look at there look at there Then you got to turn them. You turn the little gold thing. Either open it up, so or turn. What is this thing? This thing is What? What is it? The hunch punch. The hunch punch. Oh, it's the hunch girl. She said it's the hunch punch. Let me see. It's the hunch punch. Oh my God. It is the hunch punch. Make some more of that. What it is? Make some more. We're gonna go find something. You ain't gotta have to though. Look at that one doing something. That one doing something finally. Let me stop. Hey y'all! Happy birthday, Duba! Happy birthday! Ooh, the bartender is at work, <laughs> baby. Bartender's at work. Bartender's at work. <laughs> Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Welcome to the yard. Welcome to the yard. Woo! I'm trying to see what's up. See what's up. Yeah, let's take a ride to the other side. We can pack the city. We can ride till you get tired. She like how I'm living. Say so she want to be my ride or die. She like how I'm living.
live and say she wanna be my ride or die. Baby, it's the weekend. It's the weekend. Pretty thing, let's take a spin. Come and ride with me. Jump in the night from 6 to 8. If you have a win, a win. What's the big deal with custom shoes? Why can't I just give you my measurements? I'm not sure about the shirt. The custom shoes. Okay, so I am in no control of the water bugs that are in the background either. Okay, you guys, as you know, I cannot play certain music. Uh, I don't own the rights to any of the music that is playing in the background. I do not wish to use any of that music for my own purposes on my YouTube channel. So I just want you to know that I do not own any rights to the music playing in um, the background of this video. You guys, as always, it has been a pleasure. I hope that you guys enjoyed this very thorough, long video. It's about 45 minutes long. Um, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Again, I just wanted to share some intimate moments with you guys. This was my mom's 77th birthday, and we were still partying as usual, which is why my video is delayed. Um, I wasn't able to upload this video okay. for two days. Um, and I do apologize for that. But this is the part three of the backyard reveal. And I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed it. Um, again, thank you so much for your support with Decor and More with Cindy. Crown. I love you guys. Mwah, 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 mwah. Hugs and kisses and to all of you. And I will see you all the in the next video. With the spinach, crab, parmesan, garlic, butter. Watch that, that. baby. Soy una chica peligrosa, no creo en amor ni rosa, eh. Me cansé, me cansé, lo le. Soy una chica peligrosa, no creo en amor ni rosa, eh. El amor es para ella, eh. Pero tengo un birthday, yo soy su amor de fe, su stuff on the grill. We got monsters on the grill, yeah.
Eu tô blessa. It's a blessing when you get Soy una chica peligrosa No creo en amor ni rosa eh. Me cansé, me cansé, lele 